Hello everybody, I'm Lance Koike and today we're gonna, we're gonna do a difficult one. Uh, this is the suspension row. You might do this with uh, TRX straps, you might do this with the rings hanging from a pole, you might even do this, uh, you, you, we're talking about the strap variation, but you could do this with a barbell just set in a rack too. Um, basically, it's an inverted row variation. So I'm laying on my back <laughs> this is difficult because I don't have any rings here hanging from my mobile home ceiling. Uh, so basically you're grabbing the rings. They're not quite here. They're definitely up a little bit. So I don't thunk on the ground every time I do these. Um, I straighten my legs out kind of like a plank, but you're flipped upside down. And then I row. <sighs> and normally my body would come up. Um, I'm sorry for making this video. It's not too bad though. We're gonna kind of talk through it. So if you've watched some of the other rowing videos, you know some of the most important things, right? All rowing exercises, all rowing variations are lower body exercises. So I'm actually gonna do all the same stuff. I'm gonna tuck my hips a little bit. I'm gonna exhale. So now I've found and secured my lower outer abdominals and I feel a little bit of my hamstrings helping me out and I can set up for this row even without these straps right uh, and then from there I just need to make sure I'm hanging on to it right everything stays like a like a flat piece of wood right really rigid okay all of this from from shoulders down to feet stays flat like a piece of wood and then from there I'm just doing my same rowing variations I'm leading with the shoulder and then the elbow is following afterwards okay and i'm doing both at the same time um this one is really easy to stick your chest out while you're rowing and lose that ab security that core position that makes this so effective uh, so look out for that make sure you're not doing that film that ask somebody to watch you whatever it is if you really stick your chest out if your chest looks like it gets a lot bigger then i would argue that you're overloading your spine and you're not lifting in a way that's really uh longevity promoting uh okay yeah so same thing you're secure with the lower body uh find those abs and then make sure you're getting the stretch when your arms are straight and then make sure you're leading with the shoulders and the elbows are following so that you can get that upper back development instead of just back <laughs> pain <laughs> uh, and that is the suspension row